and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Anne Hamilton and I work in the college's reputation and brain management department. Thanks for joining. I will be your host this evening. Uh, before we begin, I do have a few housekeeping items to go through. Uh, just so you know, your audience and your the audience webcams and mics are muted for this session. And if you have any questions throughout, please use the questions feature by clicking on the question mark. We'll uh, you know, go through those questions at the end during our live Q&A. If you have multiple programs open on your computer or your device, it may compromise your webinar experience. So we recommend that you close anything else just so that you can have the best experience possible. I'd now like to introduce you to Chris Monteith, who is the program coordinator for our general arts and science program. And he's gonna tell you all about the program this evening. I'll be back at the end for the live Q&A. So I'd now like to turn it over to Chris. Thank you, Anne. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the General Arts and Science Open House. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I'd like to just tell you a bit about myself today and a little bit about the program and um, hopefully address any questions or concerns you have. So before we get started, I just wanted to pop up the name of myself and my email, so Chris Monteith. And this is Bev Antone Caller. She's the academic advisor for the program. So if you decide to join our program, you'll get to know Bev and I very well. Feel free to take a picture of the uh, email there and email me at any point in time. So a little bit about myself. I attended Central High School in St. Thomas. And right in this area here where you see the arrow, I, I, um, I was enrolled at Trent University for about two years. At a great time at Trent, I didn't attend a lot of my classes. So uh, after two years, I withdrew from the program and I started working full time as a baker midnights at Tim Hortons. And I quickly realized that uh, I needed to do something more. So I came back to Fanshawe and I did the general arts and science two year diploma. And from there, I was admitted into the Western School. Of, sorry, excuse me. I was admitted into Western University where I double majored in English and history, and then I completed my master's in history in 2008 and was hired as a professor here at Fanshawe. In 2016, I started uh, as the coordinator for the General Arts and Science program, and that's where we are today. So a couple of the key questions I, I get from students is, is why would I take the General Arts and Science program? And what job can I get once I graduate? from the General Arts and Science program? These are two excellent questions. So let me start with the second one first. Um, what job can I get through this program? The General Arts and Science program is a pathway program. So once you finish the certificate or the diploma, it doesn't set you up necessarily to go into a career field in philosophy or biology. What we do is we help students get the credentials they need and to figure out what they wanna do as they move forward into their career programs or into university, right? So a couple of the things we offer, the opportunity to transition into other college programs. So if you need certain credentials to say, get into nursing, you can come to general arts and science, get those credentials and then apply for the practical or collaborative nursing programs. We also help with the transition to university. Again, learning at the college level, learning at the university level are very different than trying to, than learning at the high school level. So to overcome that transition and some of the struggles that some students have, the general arts and science program really helps you set up for the rigor of learning at a post-secondary level. So you come into the program, we go through the process of you know, making sure you come to class on time, I know looking at that schedule, making sure assignments are submitted on time because professors won't necessarily um, you know, chase you down to have you hand in assignments. Okay. One of the other things we do is we, we help you discover what your interests are. One of the most common questions I get from students are, it just, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm not sure what I'm passionate about. My son is in high school and he gets questions all the time about, you know, what do you want to do once you graduate? What career do you want to go into? And he comes home and he tells me, Dad, I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. But they keep asking me. And I completely understand that. I had no idea after I was done high school. I wasn't even sure when I was done coming back to Fanshawe what necessarily I wanted to do. But it was through a random history course that I took at Fanshawe in the general arts and science program that 
that led me to uncover my passion for that subject matter. Okay. So one of the things I am very proud of is our ability to help students discover what they're really passionate about. The other thing is we have a lot of flexibility in terms of how our classes are um, delivered to students. So we have fully in class, we have fully online. You could take a mix of in class, you could take a mix of online courses. We understand that students have families and full-time jobs. So what we try to do is give them the flexibility to learn while they still manage their lives. Right? So if you're someone who can't, can't come into class or can't come to campus on a weekly basis, you could do this program online. The other option, the other thing we do is we help students upgrade. So I was using the example of nursing. So some students decide after they've been in high school, after they've graduated high school, I think I really want to be a nurse, or I think I really want to be a paramedic, um, or I want to go to university. But their high school grades may not be high enough in order for them to gain admission to those programs. With a one-year certificate in general arts and science, you can help upgrade those courses so that you can gain admission into those programs. And that's one of the key things we do. A lot of our students who head into nursing or collaborative nursing programs come to us first to help upgrade their courses. Right. So typically, uh, students choose to do uh, general arts and science um, for two reasons. One is to upgrade their courses, as I said, right? Um, you know, we we're all in high school. We all know the struggle of being in high school. Uh, and sometimes the grades don't reflect our experiences, okay? So coming to Fanshawe, uh, coming to the General Arts and Sciences program allows you to clean up or pull up those marks, right? The other key one is to figure out what you want to do. I'll give you an example in a second of a student who wasn't sure what they wanted to do and how they resolved that pathway and figured out how they were going to move forward. So again, we offer the opportunity for science, math, English credits, all at the 12 U or college level. We also help students um, reduce potentially their course load in future programs at the college level. I'll talk about this more in a minute. Additionally, we help you prepare for the college and university level uh, workload. And again, it's easy for me to tell you how heavy that workload is. It's not until you're engaged in it do you truly understand how, how, um, how heavy that workload can be. So we help you learn not time management, how to navigate those issues so that you're successful moving forward. I have parents reach out to me and say, you know, what is the benefit of my, my son or my daughter going into general arts and science instead of going back and doing another year of high school? First off, you earn post-secondary experience, you own post-secondary um, credentials, and on top of that, you, you begin to figure out what is expected of you so that when you go into your next program, you're successful. The other key thing about our program is that we offer just a ton of elective choice in terms of the courses. I'll go more into that in a couple of seconds here. First, I wanna show you this sample template of a student schedule from last year. So she came to me and she wasn't sure what she wanted to do. She was passionate about a number of different things, but she didn't know how that led to a career. So we showed them a list of courses, and she found four courses that she was interested in, discovering social sciences, English class, history class, and an abnormal psychology class. Now, over the course of her first semester, she found something really interesting in that abnormal psych class. It was the role of a workplace psychiatrist or a workplace sociologist. So she decided that she was gonna pursue that through the business program. So she came back to us and she took in her second semester American politics course, which she found interesting, a deviance course, which she found interesting. And then she proceeded to take an introduction to business course, which would help her once she got into that business program, as well as an intro to math course. She wanted to clean up her math from what she had in high school. And she knew that math was gonna be a key factor in the business program. So she wanted to remind herself of some of those skills. Now, an important thing to note here is the reason and writing course and the communications course. These are the two mandatory courses in the general arts and science program. So in your first semester, you'll take the reason and writing. 
and in your second semester you'll take communications. Otherwise, all your other courses are elective based. You select your courses based on what you want to do or what you're interested in learning about. So if you were to come to me and say, I kind of interest in politics, kind of interest in philosophy, what do you suggest I take? We've got a number of philosophy courses. We've got a number of political science courses that a student could take. Right? So the, others, the other example I have is a student who was not very strong in high school. She had taken a few years off, similar to what I did, and she decided that she wanted to come back and be a nurse. So in order to do that, she needed to upgrade her biology, her chemistry, and her math. These two courses, the two biologies, the two chemistries, and the two maths, give you the 12 U credentials that are required for collaborative nursing, practical nursing, paramedic, most of the health and science programs at Fanshawe and at Western. Right. Again, you can see the requirement for the reason and writing and the communications course. These two courses also give you your 12 U English credit. So if your high school 12 U English wasn't where you wanted it to be, this mandatory, these mandatory courses help bring that grade up. Now, while those eight courses she selected were required for her in order to gain admission to her next program, she still had some elective choice, and that's why she took psychology, um, uh, psychology of addictions, as well as the video game theory course. So she still had some flexibility there in terms of the elective courses, but in her particular situation was upgrading was the key drive, where in the previous student's example, she wasn't sure what she wanted to do. Additionally, we have a number of articulation agreements with schools throughout Ontario. Our key articulation agreement is obviously with Western, Kings, Huron, and Brescia. I'll touch on that in a second. But you can see that these schools on the right-hand side have all accepted our courses as credentialed for these subjects. So if you're looking to go into kinesiology at Western, or you're looking to go into veterinarian practice at, say, Guelph, you can use our courses to help upgrade and gain admission into those programs. This is just a small list of some of the key courses that we offer at Fanshawe in the General Arts and Science program. As you can see along the bottom there, there's a link. I would urge you to take a picture of that link and go and check it out. You can right now see the courses that we're offering for the winter semester, the January to April semester. We offer roughly 130 courses in the fall, and then we offer another 130 courses in the winter. So it gives you a ton of opportunity to choose what you're really interested in taking. Remember, you're only picking five courses of that 130. And you can see, we go anywhere from history to mu and music, to psychology, to technology of warfare, to philosophy, to math and science. So again, if you haven't had a chance yet, please take a picture of this and go check out the link and get a feeling for how, what kind of courses we're offering this upcoming semester. So the two mandatory courses, as I mentioned, are the Reason and Writing, which is an essay course, how to structure a strong academic essay, and the Communications course. And this course is more about improving your written and verbal skills. So there's a presentation, there's a research report, how to structure strong emails, strong letters, that's what you do in your in the communications course. For the one-year certificate, you'll select eight elective courses plus those two mandatory courses. For the two-year diploma, you'll have those two courses and then you'll select 18 elective courses. Okay? And that's the diploma is over four semesters, the certificate's over two semesters. We do have a summer semester, so if you wanted to go straight through and say start say January 2020, you could be done by April of 2022. Okay. These are some of the key programs that we've sent our students to in the past and continue to send our students to. Again, practical nursing, collaborative nursing are one of the higher programs that we've sent our students to in the past. Again, advanced filmmaking is a big one that we send a lot of students to and the industrial or the music industrial arts program as well. We also open the door for a lot of degree level programs at Fanshawe. There we go. 
The other thing we offer is we have Western and, I, uh, Western and the General Arts and Science Program have an articulation agreement where we offer university level courses in the General Arts and Science Program. So these are 7,000 level courses and they run for a full year from September to April. Now, if you're doing the one year certificate in General Arts and Science, you can take two of these courses and as long as you score a minimum of 70, those two university level courses transfer over to Western with you so that it reduces the, the amount of work you have to do in your first semester when you get over to Western. If you do a two year diploma with us and you take five of those courses, you could finish your diploma with us and go into your second year at Western. Okay. These are some of the courses that we offer from the University of Western. Again, come on, there we go. History of Western Art, Introduction of Philosophy, Introduction to Psychology, Introduction to Sociology, Gender Studies or Women's Studies, Indigenous Studies, and English. Okay. So again, with the one-year certificate, you can take two of those. With a two-year diploma, you could take five of those and go into your second year at Western. We have an agreement with Lakehead University as well, where if you do a two-year diploma with us, you go actually into your third year at Lakehead. The other thing we've set up, I mean, the whole the goal for this program is to help students figure out what they want to do and to get a bit of a head start. So I've set it up so that students can take courses while in the general arts and science program in design foundations, in pre-media, and in fine art. What this means is as you're completing your general arts and science certificate, you're actually getting a bit of a head start in those next programs if you decide to go into any of those fields following your uh, general arts and science degree. So again, we are oftentimes the writ and the communications automatically get transferred over to your next program. So you're already two courses ahead. So now you can take classes in these programs as well and get a little, even a little more ahead. Okay. And really this is what I, my goal is for the program is to help students figure out what they wanna do and get ahead in their next programs. What I've supplied here is the top six to eight programs that we've sent our students into in the last three years. Again, you can see the practical nursing and collaborative nursing programs are two of the more popular ones we've sent our students to. We're also really big in sending our students over to the advanced filmmaking program, as well as police foundations and the social service worker program. Okay. Now, these are just the top, top six or eight. This list is much longer than this, but I just wanted to give you guys a feel for where a lot of our students tend to go. Additionally, the general arts and science program as one of the, has the second highest graduation rate at the college. As of fall 2021, we'll also be introducing Silex or Signature Innovative Learning Experience into our classes. What this means is it gives you a chance to get out of the classroom and go and engage in a new environment and learn from that. So you can see here the image. This is when our students in our anatomy, second, second level anatomy course went to Western to look at cadavers. That's one example. Uh, we have a Black Lives Matter movement course, and they're looking to go and visit underground railroads, um, historical sites in London in the fall. These are just some examples of the Silex that we're hoping to incorporate into our courses. I think it gives it a unique, a unique approach for students as well. Additionally, we're really proud of our 24-hour response. We get back to our students very, very quickly. We've got social media email that you can refer to i'll touch on the social media in a second here we offer a number of academic workshops throughout the semester as well as we open the opportunity for students to take some community or volunteer opportunities we hold two catching or catching up or touching base sessions per semester and this is just a chance for bev and i the academic advisor to get students together find out what's working well and do some uh, troubleshooting if they're having any concerns. So it's a great way for us to stay in touch with our students as the semester goes through and make sure that they're being successful. Okay. Again, you're more than welcome to reach out and join our Facebook page at any time. It will give you a good impression of the workshops that we offer. Uh, it will show you how our students are building groups together to learn together as groups, especially now in the online environment and they're making connections and networking with each other. 
So if you're interested, please feel free to join our Facebook group, that's the top one, or our Instagram group. And you feel free to take a picture of this and you can join today if you'd like, okay? And again, it's just a, it's a good opportunity for you to feel, get a feel for what we're doing in the program. Again, on top of that, we've started something called the uh, Community Engagement Project. This is, this is not mandatory, this is all volunteer, but this is a chance for you to get out into the community and engage with others. Okay. So last year we went to the Ronald McDonald House, we volunteered at the Kensington Village. Uh, this year we were gonna do some tree planting in the fall, circumstances have prevented us from doing that. We we're also gonna go and work in a soup kitchen this fall, Again, we were unable to do that this year, but we're hoping to get back into the um, get back into these opportunities come the fall. These aren't mandatory, like I said. They're just a great way to build up your CV, get to know other people in the program, get to know some of your professors, and contribute back to the community. We also worked with uh, Centered.ca, which is the London Arts Council. They um, they were holding a, an event where they were asking students to, if they wanted to work with local artists to design a research paper uh, talking about historical London artists. A couple of our students engaged in this and helped write papers for it, and they're being published. These are some of the opportunities we'd like to open up to our students. Okay, It's a little unique, and it gives you something that you can really try out that you may not have encountered. Additionally, we have some exchange opportunities for students. We've set something up with a school in Ireland where if you do a two-year general arts and science diploma and have a minimum of 60 overall, you can go over to Ireland and study sociology and politics or psychology and English and earn your ba honors bachelor degree in Ireland. Okay. Along with that, we've set up exchange opportunities in the Netherlands, in Belgium and Brazil as well. We had a student all ready to go to Belgium this year, but again, the situation has prevented her from going, but she's looking to go next fall. If you're someone who's interested in traveling, this is a great way to do that. They offer shorter term exchanges or a full semester exchange. Okay. We know students love to travel, and this just allows you to travel while you're getting your education. One last thing, uh, we were in McLean's Magazine uh, as one of the more popular programs at Fanshawe. So um, I just wanted to brag about that. <laughs> if you're interested in emailing me, please don't hesitate. There's my email right down there. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Does anybody have any questions for me? Thanks, Chris. Thanks for uh, telling us all about your program. And uh, we are now gonna move to the live Q&A. So if anyone tuning in has questions, they can submit them by clicking on the question mark feature there. Um, we have a number of questions in the queue here, so let's get started with the first one. Um, do I have to complete the two-year diploma to transfer to university, or can I transfer with the one-year certificate in general arts and science? You can transfer with the one-year certificate. You do not need to complete the diploma. There's the benefit of potentially going into a higher level at Western, Kings, Brusher, or Huron if you complete the diploma but you most definitely can transfer with the one-year certificate. Great, thanks. And here's our next one is, um, so with so many courses being offered, is there someone to help with course, course registration and to make suggestions for the best courses for the pathway? Most definitely. And if you get a chance to look at the website uh, where all our courses are, you can see it can be a bit daunting because there's so many courses that are being offered. But Bev and I, the academic advisor and, Beth, uh, and myself, we sit down with almost all our students, we consult with them about what they're looking to do in terms of academic pathways, and we make suggestions about the courses they can pick. Now, that doesn't mean you have to. You can sit down and pick your own courses on your own, but we are available to assist with that process for sure. Even in the online environment, Bev and I have Zoom and phone meetings with students on a nonstop basis to assist with registration. Great, okay. Now our next question is, what are some of the other uh, Silex opportunities that students would engage in in general arts and science? So I, I suggested the, um, the anatomy one uh, during the presentation. I talked about the Black Lives Matter one. I teach a course on global drug trade. We'll be visiting the local police station and talking to them as well. Um, there is a ancient Rome and Greece course that ran last year and they did a field trip to Rome and Greece. So we have a number of those sort of opportunities. 
our faculty are still ironing out what they want to present for fall 2021. So I should have more information in the winter semester for anybody if you're interested in reaching out then and asking. Great. All right, uh, here's a question about OSAP funding. So are students mm -hmm. eligible for OSAP funding if they're enrolled in this program? Good question, I get that one a lot. A lot of students think that because we're a pathway program, you can't get OSAP funding. That's not true. You can get OSAP funding with general arts and science. Um, so yes, is the answer to short form. Yeah, most definitely you can. Yeah. Great. Okay, so how many courses do students have to take to complete the certificate and the diploma? So for the certificate, you need 10 courses. It's the two mandatory courses, the reason and writing and the communication, and then eight electives. For the diploma, it's 20 courses, those two mandatory again, and then 18 electives. So 10 for the certificate, 20 for the diploma. Great, and so in regards to courses, we have another one here. Uh, do I have to take a math or science course in the general arts and science program? I get this question all the time, and it's the, it's the fault of the title of our program, the general arts and science program. No, you don't have to take math or science unless you're looking to upgrade those or unless you're interested in learning about those subjects. The only courses you have to take are the reason and writing and the communications. The name of the program, it seems daunting that way. It may, students are always asking me, do I have to take an art class? Do I have to take a science class? No, you don't, no, you do not. Great, thanks for clarifying that. Mm -hmm. um, so another question here is um, about courses again. So with so many courses to take, how difficult is it for students to connect with one another? It can be challenging, I'll be honest. I mean, you may have a friend in one class and you may never have another class with that person again uh, because there is so many courses. That is part of the reason why we've set up a lot of these outside opportunities, the academic <laughs> workshops, the volunteer opportunities. And we see so many of our students joining and creating groups through our Facebook page and connecting that way and networking that way. So that's how Bev and I are trying to help create that culture for everybody in the general arts and science program, because it can be daunting if you don't have a friend in every class with you, and I get that. But we also don't want to, we don't want to remove the electivity from the program as well. So it's kind of damned if you are, damned if you don't, so to a certain degree. Great, so on to our next question here. It's, um, so how can the, this program help someone prepare for further study at college or university level? Good, and as I mentioned in, the pre in, in my presentation, it just really helps you learn about the rigors of studying at this level. As I said, it is very different to go from high school to college or high school to university. That is a significant jump sometimes. So taking a program like general arts and science helps you become a little more acclimatized to what it means to learn at a post-secondary level. Any of our pathway programs do that. But general arts and science helps set you up for long-term success in how to show up to class on time, how to make sure things are submitted on time, what is expected of you from professors? When you walk into a university environment, you may not have that one-on-one -on -one that you get at Fanshawe, which is so valuable, so. That's great. Good advice there. So uh, last question here, um, can the whole program be completed online? Most definitely, it can. The only aspect of the program that can't be completed online would be the university level courses. Those are only offered in class. So in this current semester where we're completely online, there's the opportunity to take them online. Um, but more often than, however, typically they're only offered through in-class delivery. Otherwise, yes, you can complete the certificate or the diploma completely online. That's great. Well, we've reached the end of our session. Thanks for answering those questions, Chris. And thanks to all the students who've tuned in this evening to join us and learn all about this program. We hope that we answered your questions. If you think of a question over the next little while, something you forgot to ask, be sure to reach out to Chris. Uh, his email is on the screen there and he'll be happy to answer those questions about the program. And don't forget to watch your email because we will be sending out some details about our open house activities this Saturday. And thanks again, Chris, for telling us all about your oh, program. And thank you. thanks to everyone for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of Open House. Have a great evening. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.